What's going on guys, Mike with Tiger Supplies and today we're going over Takan's TPL6 and the basic operations to get you up and running. Um, so jumping right into it, we're going to cover the most basic uh, thing and what each button does. So to turn on your laser, you're going to hit the green button, okay, it's going to boot up and it's going to actually then display the current grade, whether it's positive or minus, where the beam is relative to left, right or center, um, and then, okay, you actually have the battery display and jumping into what each button does you're going to have your standby button which we'll go over this in a bit you have both your left and right arrow keys your up and down arrow keys your set slash lock button and your menu button we're going to do the most basic operation first which is setting grade to do so we're going to push the blue set slash lock button and then we're going to use the arrow keys to navigate so the first thing is whether you want it to be a positive or negative grade. Um, for this example, let's do negative 12.5% grade. So what I would do is I would click on the down arrow, and now I add a negative grade. I'm going to use the right arrow to continue along. So I said negative 12.5, so let me punch that in. Okay, and once you have your desired grade, you hit the set button once more, and from there, um, you're good to go. It's that easy. One little fun fact too about setting grade is if you do want it to return to zero quickly, you'll actually press the up and down arrow at the same time. And the laser will automatically go back to zero percent grade. Alright, so now we're going to learn how to set the laser line. And this is very simple. You're going to use either the left or right arrow keys to move it. So in this example, let's move it to the left. Now you can hold it, and actually the longer you hold it, the faster it will start moving. So there we go. You'll start seeing it coming off that center line. And for this example, we're going to go pretty drastic. Okay. There it goes. It starts ramping up. Excellent. So now you can actually see right here that it's moved off center. Um, so that's how you're going to do it. And one more pro tip to get the laser line back in the middle, you're going to just short press both left and right key at the same time. And there you go. You can see the, the laser line moving right back to center. All right, the next feature we're going to go over is how to set the vertical plumb LED. And this is going to be very easy. We're going to go into the menu and we're going to click beam setting. Now to enter the, me the next menu, what you'll do is actually just hit the set button. That's almost like enter. And then from there, you'll be able to navigate with the left, right, and down arrow. So to turn on the vertical plumb, there you go. It's on now. You would hit set and you can actually see the vertical plumb is on. Alrighty, so now we're going to go over the menus of the TPL6 a little bit more in depth. To enter it, you're going to click the menu button. Now you're going to see there's four main menus. Uh, just note that this is the TPL6B. This is the most basic. If you do have the one with auto alignment features, you're actually going to have one or two more menus. All right, But in the most basic model, you have four main menus. Your beam settings, your display settings, your security, and your Bluetooth. Now jumping into depth a little bit more about each uh, uh, menu setting, let's go over the beam settings. Okay, To enter, you're going to click set. And now you have three different options here. The first would be whether or not you want to turn that vertical LED on or off. Okay, And you're going to use the right and left arrow keys to navigate. The next one would be the beam mode, whether you want it to be a solid or dotted. Um, the dotted one comes in handy when, let's say, battery life is getting low and you need to con conserve. You're actually going to want to use this mode, okay? And then the last setting would be whether or not the laser automatically turns on or off. Um, this has up to personal preference. We see a lot of the guys who actually just keep it off. No. So um, again, that's navigating through your beam settings. To exit this menu, you're actually going to press menu to take a step back. Going over the next menu, display settings. Okay, let's hop in there by hitting set. You have different tilt options on whether or not to display when the laser is moved, uh, falls because of uh, vibrations. These settings um, are on by default, um, but you can turn them off if, if you feel like it. 
Um, the last one in the display settings is actually the difference in percentage if you need it by um, one, th one hundredths. Okay. Now, jumping back into the main, let's go down to security. Um, the TPL6 offers a feature to input a security code so that any change is made, you must input the security code. This is a feature just for job site integrity. To enter, you know, you click your set, you're going to input your code. Okay. Um, I'm not actually going to do it just because this is the floor model, but you're going to follow the instructions from here. All right. Now, jumping back out to the main menus. The last one is going to be Bluetooth. All right, and you're actually able to pair your pipe laser with your phone, which makes it easier because you don't have to jump down in the manhole anymore. You can simply just change the grade percentage, and that way it's going to really save you a lot of time and energy. So to do so, you click set. Okay, you're going to turn it on. Okay. And then you would follow the pairing instructions. So let's go back into the menu. Oops, excuse me. Gonna go. All right. And now that the Bluetooth is on, you're gonna click pairing, and it's looking for my phone. Now, I don't have the app, but if you did have the app, you were gonna follow the instructions and take it from there.